So in the tutorial this week, share the successes you've had in generating your own computer game, your Twine game. What has been the most successful elements of your game? And what are you most proud of in your game? Now this week we're looking at secondary worlds as a framework to support game development and the use of games in education. So you should be looking at how or what secondary worlds are and how we define them and the various elements that comprise secondary worlds, particularly around the naive, epic and philosophical levels within secondary worlds, how various games can be used to um, incorporate secondary worlds and what advantages a secondary world provides to gameplay. Looking at how players can contribute to the development of these secondary worlds and what advantages that co-creation, that contribution can make in developing secondary worlds. And then how computer games have been used for secondary world development and some of the advantages and disadvantages that computer games have for employing secondary worlds. And then how we can teach and educate through the use of these secondary worlds, particularly as they apply to computer games and the use of mental model theory to develop various concepts through the use of secondary worlds and through the different levels of um, secondary world engagement, the naive, epic and philosophical levels. Identifying what type of gamer you are in terms of taxonomy. And then finally, how we can utilize these various levels and aspects of secondary worlds in our teaching through the use of games and applying the GPAC model where we take into consideration pedagogy, content and technology, along with the genre of the game being used and the, epic, and the level, naive, epic or philosophical, of the game that we're employing. And we'll discuss all of these concepts in the tutorial.